Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Cal Royal RS92 US10B cast rigid doorstop with molded screw. Um, let's go over some basic dimensional properties of what this doorstop is. Overall projection is going to be about 2 and 13 sixteenths. Diameter of that base, just for the sake of archiving it, looks like it's about 13 sixteenths. Length of the screw, and I would say that would be maybe a number six. It's about 11 sixteenths. This is in the oil rub bronze finish with a white replacement tip. Those are the dimensions. Why would you want this? Let's talk about that now. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. This is a door bumper, is what it is, or a door stop, I should say. This is what would be called a baseboard mounted door stop. You would screw this into the baseboard. Occasionally, you'll see someone who installs it to the door, but it's meant to go onto the baseboard. This is what we would call a solid style door stop. It has this sort of square element to it. It's just a design feature. I don't believe it does anything other than give it a little bit of a design, I suppose. Um, extremely common, typical, ubiquitous, and standard sort of door con um, uh, residential construction is where you're going to find a door stop like this. What's important to note is that overall projection. You'll want to make sure that what you're stopping, again, 2 and 13 sixteenths, doesn't have a projection greater than this stop, meaning if you have a commercial grade one lever lock, um, it's very likely the projection of that trim off the door will hit the wall before the door hits the bumper. In that case, you're going to need a longer unit, a uh, greater projection. So you want to make sure that that's the case. Um, these are solid, and sometimes people don't like solid stops. There are flexible style, which is literally a spring, and you can take that and you can uh, bend it and let it go, and it will flap back and forth like a spring. Sometimes people like those flexible or spring style door stops because you can kind of bump the vacuum cleaner into it a little bit and not cause damage. You hit that enough, that will ruin the hole that that's attached into, and then you'll have to you'll have to conduct a repair at that point. So, very typical, very common, mounted on the baseboard, occasionally on the door at the bottom. Even sometimes I've seen it attached at the top, and the reason I've seen it attached at the top is you've got a, a kitchen door that swings in. There's cabinets that are up here from the wall. There's a countertop that's down here, but when the door gets to about 95 degree, it's going to hit those cabinets. So they'll attach it right at the top of the door so it'll hit the side of the cabinet. Wherever you end up placing it is where you'll end up placing it to be uh, effective. Let's switch to the screen view and let's take a closer look at the supporting information. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Okay, here's the item that we are looking at. Let's take a look at some photographs that we have. There it is in its packaging. It's quite dark. It's not quite as dark uh, to the eye, but nonetheless, it is a dark finish. But it's, it's definitely not black. Here, you could almost think it's black. It's not black, but it's pretty close. The screw tip on the back. The bumper with the, uh, the square element shown. Then the bumper removed. We have a link below this video to replacement bumpers. Those will fatigue with time. They'll get knocked off by that same rogue vacuum cleaner. They'll get chewed off by the pet. Hopefully they don't swallow it kind of thing. Um, I've gone so far as to even dab some epoxy behind these uh, because it was a chronic situation of it coming off. Um, I'm not saying you should do that, but... Um, you might consider it. When these things wear out, dry out, they don't fit as tight as they used to as well. Uh, so there you go. Okay, now let's look at the different finishes that this is available in. We're just going to do a search for that RS92. Available in the oil rub bronze, satin nickel, antique nickel, Polished chrome, satin chrome, polished brass, antique brass uh, finishes. Now, these aren't going to be true architectural finishes because they say that this is cast, but it's 
it's zinc. It's it's uh, I believe it to be zinc. It's relatively heavy for what it is. It weighs about 0 0.04 pound. So 25 of them, 25 of them per to make one pound of material. Sold in any quantity. You can buy one or you can buy 14. If you bought a hundred, they'll come in a box. If you buy a thousand, they'll come in a case. Projection mounting screw. There's a cut sheet here that we can take a look at and just shows us what they call nominally a three inch unit. We know it's closer to two and 13 16 because we've measured it. Now I mentioned longer styles, uh, longer projections. Let's click on the link below this video here to the manufacturer's page. From here, we're going to be able to pull up not only all of the Cal Royal products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation. A link to the manufacturer's website is here, and also a link to several product catalogs in addition to the current product catalog. Let's click on that, and when we do so, it will fire up this document. And we'll get that document to load, and then we can do a find function for RS92, Control F on the keyboard. Uh, and that will come up uh, eventually in the catalog. It's a, uh, this doc, this catalog's 500 pages. I remember when it was 82 pages. They, one thing to be sure of Cal Royal, they are forever evolving their product line. Um, and this link below this video is to the um, cut sheet that's here. And from this cut sheet, we can see the RS92. They say it's three inch projection. You can see that there is a four inch version, not identical, but nonetheless would probably complement your installation. You don't want to use all greater projection if you don't need to. It's just more hardware hanging off the opening than is necessary. Um, so you want to tailor the installation. They do have those flexible models that we had talked about earlier. A couple of different styles of these. Now there's a cut sheet, pardon me, a product brochure, which goes over all of the doorstops offered by Cal Royal. I can tell you that they offer many more products than they did 20 years ago. Um, just quickly, I like this, this one inch diameter wall stop. It's petite, it's elegant, it's hard to spot. It blends in really well when you don't need, you know, something that's two and a half inch diameter. Baseboard mounted, uh, pardon me, heavy duty versions. Roller bumpers are here for doors that collide into each other that are either the opposite of handing or the same hand. More modern style units, floor mounted heavy duty units, heavy duty units that are poured into uh, concrete. Dome stops, different sizes. Risers for those dome stops. These are called gooseneck stops. They're heavy duty. Um, two points of mounting and you can use your imagination and see why we call it a dome stop. This is something that just screws into a wood floor. Not very expensive. Modern style floor mounted stops, kick down holders, holders and stops, hinge pin stops, very common, especially this style here. This model is known as the heavy duty hinge pin door stop, even though that's a misnomer. There is really no such thing as a heavy duty unit. Um, they do have different varieties of these hinge pin door stops as well. Very common when you don't have a baseboard to mount something like the RS-92 down onto. A hinge pin door stop can sometimes be the way to rectify that situation. Let's uh, wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Now the name Cal Royal is synonymous with imported builder's hardware. This is just one example of thousands of items that they sell. Millions if you, you know, calculate all the derivative type products that they can put together. Um, what is notable about Cal Royal, or what I think of most is that they have a very broad and very deep inventory. Their catalog is 500 pages basically, and they stock a lot of that stuff. Um, unless it's an unusual finish, in an unusual quantity, like a grade two cylindrical lock in a um, in, in, in an odd lever in a satin bronze, and you want 400 of them, that could trip them up. But if you needed a couple of hundred of the hundred of these every month for the next eight months, that's gonna, that's going to be underhanding it to them. They're going to be able to 
hit that one every single time. Um, and, and, and that's what I think of when I think of Calwell. Deep inventory, broad availability of products. A name that's actually somewhat uh, common and known around the industry as well. Other people who import builders' hardware from overseas, they may not have the name recognition nor the inventory or diversity of product. But Cal Royal certainly has those components, and it's a, a fair value as well. Any questions on the Cal Royal RS92 and a US 10B finish or any other Cal Royal product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.